everyone. I'm Amanda from getalifeatsea.com and again I'm here with Heather from Page Marine Cruise, one of Princess Cruise's official or authorized recruitment uh, partners. And Heather has over 25 years in the marine industry and again we are going to be talking today about tips and tricks for Skype interviews which as we all know cruise lines more and more are using Skype uh, to interview their candidates now um, even more, I would say, than in person. Is that something that you'd agree with, Heather? Is that kind of the direction you feel things are going? I think so. Yeah. Uh, yes, definitely. We're doing more Skype than ever before. Perfect. So, last video we talked a lot about tips for in-person interviews, and I think what a lot of people don't realize is when they're doing Skype interviews, it's, you know, there's a lot of things to think about when it comes to doing a Skype interview, too. So, what are some um, recommended tips that you have for people that are going to be doing a Skype interview with a cruise line or with a partner such as yourself? Check that your Skype connection is working mm -hmm. before you actually have your booked appointment with me. Um, at the very time of it, I, usually I'm scheduling a whole day of Skypes, and mm -hmm. so I've got a time lot for you, allotted for you, and if you um, miss it, then you may have to wait another week for me to be able to find another spot to put you into it. Mm -hmm. Also make sure that your Skype name is appropriate, very much like your email name. There's some pretty strange ones out there that I've been given. Okay. And... Uh, Make sure that you have checked the time, that you are in the time zone for the time um, zone given. Awesome. Yeah, and that's something definitely that I've noticed as well doing my own Skype interviews um, is, you know, when I send out an invite, I'll give my time zone and then sometimes I get emails back saying, what time is that in my time? I don't really have time to figure that out. I mean, it's called Google. You know, people can definitely easily look up what time they need to be somewhere um, based on the time given to them in their interview. So I think you'd agree with that. Um, what are some other tips when it comes to appearance on Skype? What are you hoping to see? What are you hoping not to see when it comes to the interview process? I'm hoping to see them dressed as if they were coming into an interview. So okay. I do find it inappropriate to find them lying on their bed in their you know nightgown or house coat, and I've seen that. Um, I think they should have it in a sort of a, make sure that they've cleaned up the area uh, around and behind them so that it looks professional. Try to minimize the dog barking, the phone calls, and people yelling your name from the kitchen. <laughs> Those things are diversions. Right. Right. So, so yeah, tidy, yeah. clean background, um, appropriate business attire, and also, um, yeah, limited distractions when it comes to external noise and things like that. And I guess I, I definitely have come across that as well. You know, even when I've done Skype interviews and someone's had to use their phone, say, because the timing uh, worked as such that they were maybe on break from work and they had to use their phone, I'm fine with that often, but um, it's a good thing to have like a headset so that you're sure that you're going to be able to hear that other person and that if you aren't at home, I don't know if you agree with this, that you find a quiet spot, even if it's outside, maybe not in the middle of a Starbucks with like lots of noise going on in the background. Yes. Very yeah. distracting in a, a, a coffee shop environment. Mm -hmm. It's very hard for me. I'll tend to limit the questioning because I'm kind of trying to get through it fast with them yeah. versus giving them the time that they really should have with yeah. me. So find a good spot. Um, all right, so that is great. What, again, um, you know, we talked about in our last video about what to bring to an in-person interview. I mean, obviously, when you're seeing someone on Skype, you're not actually physically there. So what should people have sort of at their fingertips to refer to during the interview process on a Skype? Have your resume ready with you and also on your computer or whatever device you're using in case we need to ask you for it at the time. We normally have it available to us when we Skype you, but it's good if you have it or if you can also refer to it when I'm asking you about a specific um, period of employment. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Um, and then... With regards to things not to do, we talked about, you know, having the tidy background, all that. What about, um, like, you know, if someone's at home, maybe they'll want to be having their coffee because they're they're sitting at their dining room table. What do you what do you think about that? There's a little more leeway for certain with a Skype interview. A coffee, I'm fine with. Your full dinner, not so much. Right. A beer in your hand, not so much. Right. So, you know, within reason. Within reason. Okay, perfect. Um, and then. I think we covered most things. Are there any other things that you would recommend to have ready uh, for a Skype other than maybe resume to refer to? I mean, should someone maybe have a list of questions, for example, to ask similar to what they'd happen in in-person? 
I'm always open to questions and I always end an interview with you. If you have any questions at a later date, just email me because that's an easier method for me to get back to them mm -hmm. uh, with them. I don't mind questions during the Skype, but wait till I finish telling you about everything because I'm often going to cover it during my part of the Skype interview. So give me a chance to tell you what I need to tell you. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Um, and I think um, just a quick review, I think one of the biggest things uh, for me as well in my past experiences, the first thing that you said was testing the Skype connection and making sure that that's working before you try it. I know a lot of people doing Skype interviews, it, sometimes it's the first time they've ever used it. Um, and so really making sure that you've maybe tested it with a friend, that you've got it properly set up on your phone or your computer, and that the person is actually able to see you. I can't tell you how many times I've done a Skype interview where somebody um, doesn't have the ability, their camera isn't on their computer. Well, that totally uh, takes away the point of doing a Skype because you want to be able to see the person. I also want to share my screen sometimes mm -hmm. because there are things that I need to be able to show them. So that's very important to me. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Well, thank you so much. These are some great tips for my followers at getlifeofsea.com to take into consideration when, when they're thinking about doing a Skype interview, uh, which as we know today is, is more and more prevalent. And um, so next video, Heather and I are going to be talking about post-interview, things to do and things not to do after you've had your cruise ship interview. So thanks so much for joining us. Thank you.